I don't need to take responsibility to you for anything. Okay, literally for anything. B, I always take responsibility. I have no problem admitting that when my son's ankle turns into the exorcist, I wanted to take away his pain and gave him Delta 8, which is a THC or a CBD derivative. I have no problem admitting that to CPS or anybody else stating that I left my kids alone. Let me explain this again. My kids were not left alone, but even if they were, even if they were, Alabama law says I could leave my kid, my 16 year olds alone. I could leave my 12 year old alone if I wanted to. Well, I don't have a 12 year old, but 13 year old. I could leave Dayton alone if I wanted to for two weeks if I wanted to. You want to know why? Because that's Alabama law. So for anyone to come at me and say, well, you need to take responsibility for what? What do I need to take responsibility for? I take responsibility for everything I fucking do, everything. But to have CPS come in my life three times now, when my kids are getting ready to go to Ivy League schools and everything else, I'm doing something right. Again, my kid's not begging for Jesus money on my channel. Um, my kid is not working at Walmart, you know, living with me at 26. Not saying there's anything wrong with it, but you guys know what I mean. And for these people to constantly worry about my life, don't worry about my life. My kids are good. My kids are damn good. My life is damn good. I don't need haters on the internet interfering with my children. You're not affecting me. You're not taking my kids away. My kids are wonderful kids and I'm a wonderful mom and we have a wonderful household. I don't need you fucking haters, you miserable people in my life. Creative Renewal, you answered, I think, that comment that I'm referring to. I know I saw you in a comment today, um, a good comment. I don't mean it in a bad way, but I don't need you people in my life. My life is good. My family is good. I don't need a bunch of people on the internet who has no idea what my family life is, is like that you think you need to butt in. I come from a wonderful family. I raise my kids the best that I can. I am, if my kids, you know, who they are, their personalities, were all because of me for the most part. I don't know why strangers on the internet are so involved in my life and what I do. I'm not feeding my kids cocaine. I'm not driving drunk with my kids. I'm not sitting on a panel high as a kite. I'm not shooting dope in my arms and making excuses for it online. I'm not snorting online. There's a lot of fucking people on the other side that just fit everything I just said. They don't get CPS called on them. Why? Why? Why just me? I I'll wait for that answer. I like seriously. And then I had to hear Moose over there saying how I must have done this myself that, and then, you know, I didn't understand what Stephanie said yesterday when she said how I must have, uh, I'm sorry, that I emailed my te Dayton's teacher. This goes to, you have no fucking clue what you're talking about. No clue. And I'm going to tell you why that email it, and this is why people need to stay out of other people's businesses. I, I'm going to explain it. That email, that signature, that's my signature on that email. That's all it is. It, it's not that I emailed anybody with it. It's my signature. It comes up automatically. And sometimes I erase it. Sometimes I forget to erase it. I don't really see a big deal. The person that's handling um, Space Camp for the school is not even directly involved with my son at all. She's not even in the same grade, barely in the same school. 
that teacher. So what the other side, what Moose over there is trying to get you to realize or get you to think she's trying to get you to think that. And so is Steph trying to get you to think, check this out, that I emailed the teacher, Dayton's teacher. I want you guys to follow along with me that I emailed Dayton's teacher who then took the time to look up all my videos and all my social media, because, you know, this woman has nothing else better to do, and all my social media, and went through all my videos and found something to call CPS on. This is what Moose over there wants you to believe. Thank you for showing me exactly who called and who's involved. What she forgot to add, literally what she forgot to add, was that um, she made a comment the other day. She knew something was coming. Did, is she like Marissa now? She has all of these, um, all of these things going on. Is that what's going on now? So the fact that these people are trying to convince others that I called CPS, which is what Steph said, or that I did certain things and that I emailed the teacher and everything else. Are you kidding me? That's how you're trying to get out of what you guys did? Wendy, you said it the other day. You said the other day on a live, I need to be quiet because you know something. I need to oh, just be quiet, Laura. I, something's up, Laura. Blah, blah, blah. Your words, Wendy. Your exact words. So please tell me how you knew something was going to happen, Wendy. How'd you know, Wendy? Mm, I wonder. I really wonder. Yeah, it's on the end of... I forgot whose live it was, but Wendy was on panel. It wasn't Wendy's panel, but Wendy was on panel and Wendy specifically said at the end, she said, oh, well, Laura, I would advise you to be quiet because, uh, you know, it, it's in your best interest. Really, Wendy, thank you for letting me know exactly what's happening. Thank you. And we knew something was coming. We knew it. I said it the other day. I told everybody what Wendy said. So then last night, which I found very interesting, then last night, Tawanda goes up on panel. CPS extraordinaire from way back. Thank you. Um, but she gave herself away. Passive aggressive comments like that. Exactly. And the fact that she's trying to pin it, her staff, the whole crew is trying to pin it on the fact that I emailed the teacher. Nobody emailed the teacher. So at first I was like, what the fuck is Steph talking about? Nobody emailed the teacher on my channel. But then it hit me later on in the day. And I was like, oh, so that's what happened. They think that I emailed Dayton's teacher and they use that as an excuse to call CPS because now that they call, now they're all of a sudden coming up with this story that I emailed the teacher. It goes to show, I don't even remember that my signature is on there. That's how much I think about it, Be my signature. that That's literally how much I think about it. But they are, keep using that, considering they allegedly don't talk. How come they're both using the exact same thing? Funny how that works. But, you know, now they're in a big fight. Now they're not talking. But then, but then... They were talking and they're both using the exact same reason. Mm, yeah, I don't think so. Oh, she's so full of shit with that Beasley. So full of it. So last night they're kissing Tawanda's ass. They kiss an Irish girl's ass. I don't know if anybody watched it, but it all started with Irish gal. How could you possibly give money to RDA? 10 minutes later, when they realized what they were doing, then it turns back to, oh, well, Irish girl, we love you and it's okay. And nobody should tell anybody who to give money to them. What? 
then they have to wind up there. And I wouldn't be addressing this if, if it wasn't about me. Questioning to Wanda why she gave, why she bought a candle from me. I'm texting to Wanda. Do not fucking answer her. This is none of her business. I don't know why people think it's okay to worry about my business, my life, my everything. I understand that they miss Tawanda's money. That's obvious. That's more than obvious that they miss Tawanda's money. They're not being sincere. There's nothing sincere about any of them. <laughs>